Hi there, I just wanna thank you for joining me on uh, my Facebook Live. It's Michelle, Passy and I once again. We were, we were together last night on the same kind of format. Um, actually, we were more on Michelle's page. Um, I know I shared it to my page, but but anyway, now we're on my page. We've got a completely different topic than um, uh, Michelle was uh, doing doing miracle moments. Um, she has a show and a podcast that she's doing where she um, just really uh, brings people on to talk about miracles. And so now we're gonna we're gonna switch gears somewhat. Um, and we're going to talk about prophetic activations. What what are they and do they work? And the reason we're talking about prophetic activations is because um, we're going to do a bunch of them um, in the, uh, the Sears and Prophets online university. Um, you know, so one of the things, if we're going to talk about, you know, the gift of prophecy, if we're going to talk about prophets, we're going to talk about seers and, and the seer anointing. Um, you know, we need to we need to do something with it. And one of the things we have found is that there needs to be some sort of mechanisms, uh, especially in a in a very safe environment in a community um, where people can actually learn to hear God. You know, because they you know the whole idea is that that if, that you will um, be anointed with the gift of prophecy. It's one of the gifts of the Spirit that has the most permission on it. Like you know, if you just like breathe the desire for the gift of prophecy. The whole Holy Spirit's like, boom, you got it. Um, uh, but what it is, is now there needs to be a mechanism, a community where you can actually, you know, um, uh, hear the Lord, communicate what you believe God is saying in some kind of structured environment, and then, you know, get some feedback to see, you know, how accurate that is. And, and uh, when it's really the Lord, it hits the sweet spot. Um, it, it really um, brings a shift to people's lives. And, you know, it's, there's no mistaking it. It's not, these are not ordinary words. These are uh, heavenly infused words um, and so that's what we're trying to help people co to connect to as well as help them with their communication of such things and in a way where you can make a mistake and nobody's gonna throw stones at you but you need the feedback you you need to be able to do something uh, with what you're learning and the goal is you know to take it out of that community and into your family and into your workplace and into uh, you know your neighborhoods and everywhere that that the Lord would have have you to go and so um, I'm gonna invite Michelle right now um, to talk a little bit about what prophetic activations are um, you know again we are talking about the gift of prophecy prophetic activations in connection with the gift of prophecy first Corinthians chapter 12 talks about that gift along with a bunch of other gifts um, we learn uh, from Joel chapter 2 that it was prophesied that you know the whole church um, you know, it was going to get anointed um, and was gonna gonna be um, basically anointed to hear God's voice speak and say what God is doing it doesn't make us prophets it's just you know the, the whole church is going to become a prophetic voice uh, into the earth and that was that's one of the blessings of being in the New Testament church um, and and so you know this is something that we need to teach into we're gonna we're gonna activate for um, and and so Michelle why don't you tell a little bit uh, about yourself as well as talking about you know prophetic activations yeah absolutely so um, I am a prophetic trainer it's something that I love to do um, my greatest passion is to get the body of Christ activated in hearing God's voice um, and 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 just you know, moving in prophecy, moving in um, just precision and accuracy of of what God is saying to them. And, you know, the word activation, it, it, it means to turn on or to get something started. So basically, when we're doing activations, we're just helping you step into something you already have. It's just like turning it on, turning up the volume a little bit, a little bit louder for you as you step out in faith. You know, Jennifer, you said something last night that I loved. I loved this. You said that that faith is the 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 seed bed for miracles. That faith is the seed bed for miracles. And that just so resonated with me, even with what we're doing with activations, because activations help helps build your faith. We prophesy out of the level of faith that we have, right? And so it helps build your faith. It helps build your confidence to step out in what it is that God is saying. And 
you know, we practice in such a safe environment that, you know, it's okay if you miss it. It's okay if if you don't quite get it right. You know, some of the um, activations that we've done together is we've done like the words of knowledge and, and um, on, and even some on the prophetic stuff that we've done. One of the fun ones is, you know, finding things. Um, and so, you know, Jennifer and I will 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 hide things throughout our house or whatever, and then we'll have the those that have joined in on the school or the training, the activation. Then they wait on the Lord for a word of knowledge or a picture of maybe where where that thing is. And you know what? We have fun when we do it, and not everybody gets it right. Like, but when they do, it's so exciting, and it's just like, I mean, it builds my faith. It's like, wow, that's really cool. Like some of our students that were on um, the last class that we did, like they got such accuracy. Like I was blown away at how accurate and how precise and how they were able to find some of the things that you and I had hit or whatever. And it's just, it's so much fun to, to just be able to be part of a community, to be in a group where it's safe, where it's fun, and we're not so serious that we, we can't just practice. Right. And so, you know, some of you might be thinking, oh, my gosh, that's kind of weird. You know, what do you mean you hide things and you want people to hear the, you know, hear the Holy Spirit on where you where you hid them? Isn't that kind of hocus pocus, psychic stuff? Well, no, it's really built into the nature of God. He finds lost things, um, you know, seek and save the lost. And so it's built right into his nature um, of who he is, that he will find your lost stuff. And furthermore, have you ever had a situation where you lost your keys and you can't find your keys? Um, or you lost your wallet and you can't find your wallet or somebody, somebody, you know, in your family, um, a spouse or a kid or whatever, they've lost something. Okay. Don't you want to hear the Holy Spirit on where that thing is? Um, you know, and what if it's somebody like a coworker and they find out that, you know, the Holy Spirit speaks to you um, and tells you where lost things are. Um, you know, we have a lady in our church, um, you know, she is very, very anointed and unusually anointed, um, you know, and she has been uh, one of those people that has found missing persons before, um, you know, and so it's just amazing because the Lord seeks and saves the lost and, you know, that's all encompassing. So we just step right into the nature of the Lord and and it's one of those activations that we want we want to build into you because in the event of an emergency in the event that one of your kids go missing okay don't you want to hear the holy spirit where that person is so so really there is a there is a you know um uh, there is a reason uh to our methods okay it's not just hocus pocus psychic stuff you know i actually personally um and and in great opposition to that kind of thing but when it's biblical when it's the holy spirit when it aligns to the nature of god um that's what we want to to bring to you in simple um, exercises that we have found in the word uh, one of the things that we we like to do is to to pull together um, uh, to pull together the word of knowledge which is um, again a gift of the spirit hearing your present hearing uh, about your past things that there's no way uh, anybody could know unless God revealed it um, but we 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 do that um, in conjunction with the gift of prophecy, which is straight up about your future. Um, we do that right out of the scriptures. Um, this is where we start. You know, when Jesus uh, said to Nathaniel, you're a man without guile. I mean, he basically pulled out one of his strongest character attributes. And that, that word of knowledge, something that was a fact, about Nathaniel that only only God would know, um, you know, uh, is is what what triggered him to start believing um, the prophetic word. You know, when Jesus called him into discipleship and apostleship and and to come alongside him. So so we actually one of the beginning activations that we do with with that word of knowledge is to is to actually hear the Holy Spirit for people's character attributes, and that's straight up. From what Jesus did with Nathaniel. Okay, so this is this is the nature of what we do. We it's right from the Bible, so it's not like crazy, mystical, weird stuff. It's very, very um, uh, structured and biblical, and yet at the same time, it's like stepping into this anointing. And you're gonna learn that you hear the Lord. You're gonna learn that God speaks to you. Um, uh, Michelle, maybe you got a few more stories. 
Um, I do, but I just saw on here, I don't know if you see this, but Patricia Young one says she lost her wedding ring. Um, so I don't know, maybe if there's people on here that want to get activated right now, if you, if you feel, if you feel, you know, like maybe the Lord is showing you where Patricia Young's wedding ring is, you can comment below, make sure to, um, tag her. It looks like she's on Prescope, so I'm not really quite sure how that would work, but make sure you tag her name and um, see if the Lord shows you. I mean, it's, I mean, God cares about her wedding ring. He ca He cares about those kinds of things. Like there's, like Jennifer was saying, um, oh, are you on, here? Let me mute myself, Jen. I'll let you talk. Sorry, I started talking away and I didn't realize I was muted. Um, yeah. And so, you know, again, he finds lost things. Um, you know, so my, and this isn't a guessing game. It's really like, okay, you might see a picture. You might have an impression. Um, you know, you might, a, a memory of when you've lost your wedding ring and you found it, um, uh, might flash through your mind and that's the Holy Spirit breathing on a memory and saying, Hey, the same for them. Um, you know, and so, and so, uh, you know, these might be the ways that this happens. But the thing is, when we do do that kind of activation, like in this kind of setting, and you and you actually, um, uh, you know, write it down, then it's measurable. We can actually measure if you really heard God or not. And you want to know just as much as you want to know when you've heard the Holy Spirit. You also just as much want to know when you have it. Because then you can go back to the Lord and say, okay, how did I miss that? And you can you can start to hone in and, and into his voice even closer. It really draws you into the heart of the Lord. Back to you, man. Michelle, you're still on mute. So sorry. Um, I was just going to say, Susie Thomason is wondering if you've looked under your dresser for your wedding ring. So look, people are already stepping out and 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 taking that, you know, just listening to the Holy Spirit, connecting with the heart of the Father for her to find her wedding ring. I mean, how beautiful is that? I love the Lord so much. One of the other activations that that we have done, um, and I'm not going to tell you all of it because if you join, then um, you'll you'll know it when we do it. But I really enjoy um, helping you all hear for yourself from the Lord. And so we will do activations that will, will, you won't know that maybe this is for you. You'll think maybe it's for someone else and we'll have you maybe, you know, um, get a scripture or, or get a word or a picture or something, and then find out later that actually that was for you. And some of the biggest breakthroughs that I've seen with people um, is when they do this particular, these particular activations where they, they get this profound, deep word from the Lord and they think it's for someone else. And then they read it because what I do, or they read it or they, or they look at the picture, whatever it is that God has given them and they, they receive it for themselves. I've seen literally people get delivered. I mean, and get healed right at that moment as they are receiving such a profound word from the Lord for themselves, um, confirmation into ministry stuff. It's just beautiful. Absolutely. And so we are looking forward to just pressing in um, to these activations uh, with you as part of the Sears and Prophets Online University. Um, the link should be in the title line. If it's not, just hop on to um, uh, my social media, any of them, and you will see the graphic. You'll actually see the link, so you can check it out, and and um, you know you'll you'll see uh, the benefits of the course, the topics, um, the calendars up now. So we have the entire calendar up for the entire time, so you, you know exactly uh, what you're getting into. And then one of the things I just haven't talked to. My prophetic team yet and I, I haven't even um, uh, talked to Michelle about her people joining uh, in this as well but I know at least on my side I'm gonna talk to my prophetic team no promises I actually have to still talk to them but I'm pretty sure that they'll do it um, is that they're gonna I'm gonna invite them to hop 
into the Facebook community group from time to time and actually prophesy over you. So um, they love to do that and they feel really denied this year that they weren't able to do that as part of our on-campus institute. And so I'm going to bring them in another way because it's one of the highlights of their, their um, you know, twice a year they get to, to um, do this institute and prophesy over you. Um, and so we're gonna we're gonna work that through. Um, Tommy John, um, I know that I know you because um, you're part of my other mentorship. Um, but what the Lord is really speaking over me in regards to you is a real protection over you, um, protection um, from from uh, what what Satan would try to to. Uh, bring into your world to thwart you and cause you to stumble. But I see the Lord's protection. Um, uh, the Lord has your back um, and his, his hand of grace is on you. Um, I also um, sense the heart of God over you that he's championing you and he's a good father. Um, and you can lean into him as a good father. I know that you know that. But, but there's some things that he's going to show you that, I mean, the only way you would know is if he revealed it to you. And he's going to keep um, un peeling those layers um, of who he is as a father uh, into your life, uh, Tommy John. And there's a miracle flow. I think I even mentioned this on, on the Instagram um, live that we just did. But there's a miracle flow, Tommy John. Um, that the Lord wants to unleash through you and that it's time to actually step out into it. Um, you probably have from here from time to time, um, but, but you are full on. There's ministry all over you. Um, uh, you know, the battles in your life have been to stop the, the, the ministry and the amazing miracles, um, uh, the, the musical created parts of you. Uh, you know, have been really um, designed to stop that, but God will have his victory, um, you know, and, and he, he already knows um, the plots of the enemy against your life, and he's, he's already um, uh, stepping in and intervening because he's determined that you will uh, win uh, your race. You will run your race and run it well. Yeah, um, Susie Thomason, I just see, um, you know, you. I just see your comment right there where you're just saying, activate us, Lord. And I just feel like the Lord is just like, he is so pleased with your hunger right now. And just, I see just such an insatiable desire and hunger for more of the Lord. I actually just see books in front of you and you're just constantly in the word and you're just digging deep and you're just really like pressing in. Um, and I just feel like, Susie, as you just continue to step out in faith, as you continue just to, to do what you just did on on here, like took a huge, bold step of faith to, to help someone find their, their wedding ring. Those are the things as you keep doing that, you're going to see the accuracy. Um, you're going to see the, the precision. You're going to see the breakthrough. Um, and I feel like the Lord is really um, taking you into another level of words of knowledge. Um, I just really feel like I, as a matter of fact, as soon as I said word of knowledge, what I saw was I saw like a bullseye and I saw an arrow just hit right in the center of the bullseye. So I feel like as you begin to just step out in that confidently that you're going to hit the mark every single time. And so Susie, you are activated and that God wants to continue to take you to, to, to next levels. but the, the the main thing really is that he is he is just so drawn to your hunger. Um, he's just so drawn to your hunger, and so I just bless you with that, Susie. Whoops! There we go. There was a name that was highlighted to me. I can't see you now, and I I don't know if I've ever interacted with you or not. Maybe I have, um, but your name is um, Shanika, Shanika, S-H-A-N-I-C-K-A. -I, I didn't catch um, your last name, but but the like when your name was was going through and, and rolling through here, Shanika, um, I instantly felt this um, shout and like this like the shout like come out of me. And, um, and so there was like, like really like almost like this strange resonance 
um, on this shelf. So, so um, it feels like there's like this, um, I'm trying to dial into why I would sense a shout over you. Uh, some people I will sense, you know, maybe a song over them or I'll, I'll sense the Lord giving them some kind of peace. But I, I feel like um, there's a scripture in, in, I believe it's in the Psalms, um, where the Lord will go up with a shout and that, um, you know, something about uh, the triumph, there it is, the triumph of the Lord in your life, that he is triumphant and triumphal in your life. And I actually um, almost have a sense of a trumpet and a sound and something about the, the sound of the Lord over your life, that there is a triumphal, triumphant, um, resonating sound of heaven over your life, Shanika. And that um, uh, there's almost like uh, uh, he's he's draping you and covering you and um, uh, literally like surrounding you with with sounds of breakthrough and sounds of triumph and sounds of victory um, that you don't have to worry about things that appear to be stuck and appear to be not moving in your life that there's a shout um, and almost like when they shouted around the, the Israelites, they walked around that wall of Jericho and then they shouted and the walls came down. Um, you know, I, you know, it was interesting. It was the resonance that um, a broke through wall. And so the Lord is doing that for you. He's shouting over you and perhaps you wanna go ahead and join um, with the Lord. Shanika Scarborough, there she is. Um, perhaps you wanna join with the Lord um, it, it's like there's a boom and a shout. It's it's kind of a strange thing that you can break through things spiritually um, with that shout that that Lord is shouting over you, but you releasing your shout with Him uh, as well, and that somehow, some way, that's releasing true and genuine and tangible breakthrough um, in the things that I mean they appear like they've been stuck or they appear like they've been wall. So so I want to encourage you, Shanika. Go ahead and shout at it. Go ahead and shout at it. So good. Um, so there was a name on here. Um, I think it was Valerie Keeping. I'm not. I'm not seeing her right now. But um, Valerie, I just felt like the Lord showed me um, that you're an intercessor. I feel like the Lord was all. I just had this picture of you on your knees, just in constant, in a constant place of just prayer. Um, and I just felt like the Lord was also showing me that, um, Valerie, you have been so faithful. You've been so faithful in keeping, um, like just the secrets of what the Lord has given you. You've been faithful with what he has asked you to do. And I just see an increase coming. Um, I feel like there's been such a, um, um, like a, like patience and just like you long suffering where you have just really been waiting on the Lord. You've really been just persevering in, in what it is that, um, that, that, you know, that God has for you, um, and what God is going to do through you. And I just feel like that, that, like that burst of like, just bursting forth of the breakthrough is happening. Um, and there's something that's, there's, there's an increase of authority that's taking place in your intercession. There's a, there's an authority that is taking place. That's in, an increase with your, your intercession. And, um, and again, I just, I just want to bless you with, um, just his pleasure where you have really, um, just endured and, and stayed faithful and, and stayed patient. Well, okay, there we go. Um, boy, you guys are easy. You just really pulled that out of us. We were on the Instagram live doing the same thing. We actually had to work through a little bit of uh, some of the um, spiritual stuff that people were carrying before we could even uh, start to prophesy. But you guys were, were on it and you're ready. Uh, makes it easier for us. Um, but here's the thing. Um, we want you to, to consider the Seers and Prophets Online University. You should be able to see the link. If not, just hop on to 
uh, my social media and you'll see the link there. Um, and then you can just check it out and, and, and begin to ask the Lord if that's for you or not. Uh, there is an early bird price for the registration, um, you know, going on through this month. Um, but I, I do know it's going to be pretty intense, but it's good. That's good because we want we really want to focus on it. Um, so anyway, thank you so much uh, for joining Michelle and I uh, tonight. And we are so glad uh, to be able to to, um, you know, share share these things with you and and and, and actually engage like this in, in the gift of prophecy. OK, thank you. Good night.